Stephanie, thank you so much for joining us. And we want to start off by asking you if you can describe your current day-to-day -day role. Sure. Well, thank you. Well, I've joined Wood in the last few months, and so what I've spent a lot of time is shaping and working with my new team. Uh, spending a lot of time with customers mm -hmm. and focused on shaping wood for 2020 and beyond. A lot of um, uh, responsibilities there, I'm sure. Yeah. Can you talk to us a little bit, I guess, thinking back, what motivated you to get into the oil and gas industry and what keeps you here? Sure. So I started roughly 29 years ago in oil wow. and gas. Uh, I joined uh, coming from a degree in supply chain. So I didn't have my eyes set on oil and gas. I was mainly looking for a really good job that I could use what I learned in school. And I wanted a lot of responsibility. And so my first job in a majority of my career, I had that immediately. And the oil and gas industry changes a lot. Mm -hmm. So it's always stretching the boundaries, something that I like. I like change and I like challenge. So that's what's kept me motivated and excited. And now, you know, our next challenge is the energy transition, mm -hmm. and that's what I'm excited about as well. Can you talk to us, Stephanie, about maybe a challenge or a risk that you faced, if you can pinpoint anything, with being a woman in the industry, or how's that been for you? I would say for the most part, it's been really good. Great. Um, I haven't had any major risks or challenges that, you know, I, like I could pinpoint. I think there's a generality, you know, when you're a female in this industry, you stand out more because there are fewer. Mm -hmm. And I think in the industry, there's different paces that companies have on, on diversity. Um, I've been fortunate, the companies that I've worked with, uh, that is on the forefront. Um, so you do have a lot of opportunities, but the opportunities come from performance. Mm -hmm. And I think that's extremely important. You know, performance is what matters. Uh, being a female, earning positions is what you get from performing in your previous jobs. Um, I think the industry, because it's at different paces, you know, there's always been times uh, every now and then working with customers or working with suppliers that may not be, you know, used to working with mm -hmm. females in different leadership positions. So that sometimes takes a little bit getting used to on their part, uh, but it, there's really no difference in how you behave or how you interact. But in general, it's been positive for me. That's good to hear. With that in mind, do you have any advice for younger professionals, women or men really, but trying to find their place? You know, you mentioned, of course, you know, doing that good job mm -hmm. at your position, but any advice you have there, whether it's career or work-life balance, any of the above? Yeah. <laughs> what I would say is um, I've had a lot of really good opportunities in my career um, and a lot of uh, good stretch uh, moves. Uh, companies have taken really good risks on me and stretching me out of a comfort zone, going into different jobs where I really you know, had to learn. And that, you know, for me, of taking those risks yeah. personally and professionally really helped. So I've always been very curious how things work mm -hmm. and wanting to learn. And that would be really sincere and serious advice for those coming in. Uh, that you definitely try new things, don't be afraid, mm -hmm. and take the risks and listen to others that, you know, this could be a good opportunity to do something different. And with that, what about mentors? What are your thoughts mm -hmm. there? I think there's, there's informal mentoring and formal mentoring. Um, I've seen where informal mentoring works best. You know, when you have different connections throughout, um, whether it's a current job or, or other industry, if you can have informal connections and then stay connected, because there's a mutual relationship when you're a mentor or a mentee, mm -hmm. I think it can work out really well. Um, having something scripted, uh, working with someone that you're assigned to, sometimes can be a challenge. That's why informal mentoring, I think, is more effective in my experience. Stephanie, if you can, talk to us about what does it mean to you to be chosen in this dynamic and very deserving group of women that we're honoring this year, but also the importance of such a recognition in our industry. Well, thank you. It is a privilege and it's an honor to be selected and recognized for this. So thank you. You're welcome. I think it's coming at a really important time in our industry to have more women recognized in these roles, especially as the industry continues to change and moving into the new energy transition space. Absolutely. Well, we really appreciate you sharing your story and your time with us, Stephanie. Thank you very You're much. You're very welcome. And for Heart Energy, I'm Jessica Morales.